Burnett profiting from the good start, and there he is on 23.67. He's shy of British record pace, but remember, Grant Turner is in the uh, shake-up as well here. And that cut-off time is 49.23 to go to Shanghai. Remember, both places are available, and it's Turner in four, and Burnett over there in six. It's going to be close. Burnett puts his head down, and on the uh, touch, it's Burnett that takes it. 49.09. Relieved with that one? Very pleased with that. This has been a tough few days, and it may not seem that way to anybody looking, but... You know, at my age, 10 year old age of 28, um, it, it adds up. So, very happy with that. Very happy with another win. Really happy to be here and swim well in my own home country. 25 to go. Adlington now almost in a routine swim here. Coming up to the 15 meter marker and the national title waiting for her. The ASA national title is going to go to Becky Adlington, a second of the meet. Here she comes, let's have a look at the time. Adlington on 4.0832, the silver going there to Faulkner on 4.1089, and the bronze going to Towner. Thank you, Hugh. Becky has arrived. Took about a breath on that one. Yeah, I'm so tired today. I think injured last night took quite a lot out of me, and it's so hard when you're not rested, and just find it so much harder to recover when you're in hard training. And today, I'm just glad. I got two 400s in, it was just a race opportunity, I tried not to focus on the time too much. It's not that quick of a time for me, but it's more important just to get some racing under my belt. A lot of hard work to catch him, they're not going to bridge the gap up to Mohammed. he's looking pretty good. 25 metres to go, here comes Mohammed in the gold medal position. Silver at the moment, over in lane six is Lewis Smith, and the bronze medal is with Adam Harrington in lane five. Closing five metres. Here comes Mohammed, City of Cardiff, to take the gold medal and the title. Silver going to Louis Smith and the bronze going to Adam Harrington. Xavier, congratulations. Victory in the 200 IM here and an ASA title. Happy? Yeah, very happy. Good time. For the time in the season, so I don't know. Yeah, good time. And you're getting back to the times that you recorded back in the European Junior days yeah. back in 2008. That must be good. Yeah, and getting there slowly. In March, I swam to a 1.7, so this is a bit better, so it's good. I can tell you now that Lowe has raised their game slightly here, and she's inside the pace for a new Welsh record. Split came off 132.75, so she was 0.35 inside that Welsh mark at the three-quarter point. Here she comes. Are we going to see a new Welsh record? Here comes Lowe up to the wall. Let's see what she's going to stop the clock at. Lowe hits the wall. 1.205.36, a new Welsh record. The silver going to Eleanor Sheridan on 2.11.07, and the bronze going to Tilly Gray, 2.13.19. Gemma, congratulations. Uh, big PB, Welsh record, you must be really happy with that. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Hadn't PB'd for three years until Tuesday night in the 100 butterfly, so to do another PB in the 200, just a big relief and I'm really happy. Webb from Street in lane seven is still lying second, going well. And then third is Laurent Carnal in lane one. Now then, Gilchrist really beginning to ignite the burners here. This is the business end of the contest and he's completely blown the opposition away. Webb in uh, lane seven under pressure now from the swimmer down in lane one, Carnal. This is going to be a good time by Gilchrist, I can tell you, keeping the pressure on. Let's have a look at the time. Gilchrist, 2.10.16. Cracking time. Silver going to Webb in 2.13.54. Bronze going to Carnal in 2.14.68. Thank you. We've got Chris here. Chris, that was a fantastic swim. 2.10.16. Did you think that you were in that sort of shape at the moment? Yeah, I did, actually. <laughs> After the 100, uh, I was pretty confident. I kind of did the job of what I came here to do this week. Um, so the pressure was really off for the 200 and it uh, felt really good. It's the best I've felt in a long time in a race like that. I changed clubs at the start of the season. It's kind of taken this amount of time to adapt. Really happy with that. Um, 
really thought I could have gone under 210 tonight. I felt really good up till about 150, 160 meters. Wheels just fell off a little bit, but um, I'm just really pleased with the progress I've made since the start of this season. Good swimming here then by the 18 year old. There's only five foot six high. Stretching out, here comes Bachman. Bachman's going to make a challenge now. And I tell you what, so is Yvonne O'Connor. We've got a cracker of a race on our hands. It's Bachman versus Spencer for the number one spot. City Elite supporters are going potty on the side of the pool. Bachman coming up to Spencer. Stroke for stroke. What a finish inside the final 15. Can Bachman do it? They're looking for the wall. It's going to be very, very tight. I reckon Bachman's got it. She has. 4.47 for Bachman. Just missing out on the qualification time, but she wins the title. Spencer coming in second and Smithhurst third. What a race. And congratulations. That was an absolute fantastic race. What a great finish. Uh, yeah, I was really pleased with that, but I've had a bit of a rough season, so to be able to do that was really good. And it's been like a tough evening with... Two four hundred, so I'm really pleased with how that went. Here's the flip turn. Charlesworth setting off back. Here he comes. By the way, everybody, if you want to put your hands together when we get to the final 15, it'd be nice to welcome Richard Charlesworth. He's not going to make the qualification time for the Worlds, but he is going to successfully defend his British Gas ASA national title that he won in Sunderland last year. So let us hear the applause resonating around the arena. Here he comes. Richard Charlesworth on his way up to the wall and the gold medal in the national ASA title. There it is, the winning time, 15 minutes, 30.75. Thank you, Richard. How tough a race was that? It looked pretty uh, gruelling at the end. Yeah, I think um, 1500s are so tough, they should have more rest before they get to speak to people. <laughs> yeah, no, it was a good race. Um, I was reasonably happy with how it went. Um, I seemed to get a second win somewhere through the middle of it, um, and so I was pleased with that. Um, and having not made worlds now, I think I need to get a, a big block of work under my belt. Um, so see the, the silver lining in this cloud and um, see where we go from there. So one length of the pool to decide the concluding final here in the British Gas ASA National Championships. Good start by uh, most of the field here. Right in the middle, uh, Jack Marriott from Oxford University, the British champion, with his head down there looking for a successful defence of the crown. But the rest of the field almost in touch. It's difficult to call it, actually. But Marriott's certainly in the hunt for the top spot. He gets it. Marriott, 24.35. Jack, um, the double this year in the 50 Butterfly. British Championships in March and the ASA ones here. Happy? Yeah, very happy, thanks, yeah. Um, it's definitely improved a lot since I joined the ITC at Loughborough. Um, but very happy with my swimming at the moment.